Welcome to Global Current. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Our universe is vast, and for centuries, we've dreamt of reaching the stars. In 1977, we launched Voyager 1 and 2, our robotic explorers, on a mission to the outer planets and beyond. Today, Voyager 1 is over 24 billion kilometers from Earth, the most distant object we've ever sent into space. It's a lonely sentinel, sailing through the darkness between the stars. Imagine, a message from Voyager, takes over 23 hours to reach us, traveling at the speed of light. Voyager 1 has left our planetary neighborhood behind, venturing into realms once thought to be science fiction. Built in the 1970s, it still operates on the power of a dim light bulb, sending back revolutionary data. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless curiosity. Voyager 1 gave us our first close-up views of Jupiter's storms and Saturn's rings, but its true legacy began after the planetary flybys as it journeyed into interstellar space. This small probe carries the hopes and dreams of humanity, along with a golden record, a message to the cosmos. It's our silent ambassador, telling the story of who we are. Voyager's journey is our journey, its discoveries are discoveries. Against all odds, it endures, a symbol of what we can achieve together. It reminds us that even the smallest emissary can carry the weight of our collective wonder. As Voyager sails onward, it continues to redefine our place in the universe. Its odyssey is far from over. In June 2025, Voyager 1 sent back data that stunned scientists. At the edge of our solar system, it encountered a wall of fire, a region where temperatures soared to 30,000-50,000 Kelvin, hotter than the sun's surface. But this isn't heat as we know it, it's the kinetic energy of a few, super-fast particles in an almost perfect vacuum. The probe survived because the density was so low, there simply weren't enough particles to transfer heat and damage it. Voyager's instruments measured this bizarre environment and sent the data home. Voyager 2, on a different path, confirmed the finding. This discovery is a milestone in space exploration, revealing a dramatic, unexpected barrier at the edge of our solar system. We thought we understood this boundary, but Voyager showed us the universe is far more complex. The wall of superheated plasma is a protective barrier we never knew existed in such a form. It's opened a new chapter in astrophysics. Like ancient sailors discovering new currents, we found the edge of our cosmic ocean is wilder than we imagined. The wall of fire is now a fundamental feature of our solar neighborhood. To understand the wall of fire, we must understand the heliopause, the boundary where Voyager found it. Our sun blows a giant bubble, the heliosphere, filled with solar wind and shielding our solar system. The heliopause is the edge of this bubble, where the solar wind meets the interstellar wind from other stars. It's a turbulent, invisible frontier, our solar system's final boundary. For years scientists could only guess what it would be like. When Voyager 1 crossed it, we learned the collision zone is violent and energetic, not gentle. The solar and interstellar winds create a cosmic traffic jam, compressing and heating plasma into the wall of fire. This boundary acts as a shield, protecting us from dangerous cosmic rays accelerated by distant supernovae. The heliopause deflects many of these rays, making our solar system safer for life. By studying it, we learn how our star protects us from the galaxy's harshest weather. Voyager 1 is our first reporter from this crucial shield. Its data is rewriting our understanding of the sun's reach. The heliopause is not just a line, it's a dynamic, protective barrier. That we're still receiving data from Voyager 1 in 2025 is a triumph of engineering and perseverance. The spacecraft is 48 years old, running on 1970s technology and a dwindling plutonium power source. Each year, NASA must choose which instruments to keep alive on just a few watts of power. Earlier this year, a thruster failure nearly ended the mission. The team diagnosed the problem from 24 billion kilometers away and sent a daring fix, a signal that took nearly a day to arrive. After tense hours, the thrusters came back online, just before Earth's main antenna went offline for upgrades. It was a race against time, and the Voyager team won. Communicating with Voyager is a challenge. Its signal is thousands of times weaker than a watch battery, requiring giant antennas to detect. With a two-way communication delay of nearly 47 hours, every command must be precise. The dedication of NASA's engineers keeps Voyager alive. They are the unsung heroes, tending to a distant machine at the edge of forever. Their ingenuity ensures Voyager's journey continues. Each new signal is a victory over time and distance. 
Voyager's endurance is a testament to human resolve. The wall of fire wasn't Voyager's only surprise. As both probes crossed the heliopause, they measured the magnetic field. Scientists expected a sharp break between the sun's magnetic field and the galaxies, but found them surprisingly aligned. This unexpected connection suggests the boundary is more complex and interconnected than we thought. New theories propose the interstellar magnetic field drapes around our heliosphere, sometimes connecting and reorganizing through magnetic reconnection. In this process may help explain the intense heat of the wall of fire. Voyager's findings are rewriting astrophysics, showing our sun's influence is more intricate than imagined. Every star has a similar boundary, an astrosphere, and Voyager gives us our first real look at this universal process. Its data offers vital clues about the environments around distant stars and the potential for life beyond our solar system. The Wall of Fire is more than a scientific curiosity, it's a challenge for future explorers. For decades we've dreamed of interstellar travel, but Voyager's discovery reveals a formidable obstacle. The heliopause is a storm of superheated particles, any crewed mission would need advanced shielding to survive. Robotic explorers like Voyager are our scouts, braving dangers humans cannot yet face. Voyager 1 was our canary in the coal mine, warning us of the hazards ahead, its data is essential for planning future missions beyond the solar system. The edge of our solar system is one of the greatest hurdles we must overcome. Engineers will need new materials and powerful shields to protect future astronauts. Interstellar travel isn't impossible, but it's far harder than we imagined. Voyager's journey reminds us, exploration is step by step, with robots paving the way for humans. Its success gives us a roadmap, and a reason to keep reaching for the stars. As Voyager 1 drifts into interstellar space, its legacy is secure. It changed our view of the universe, revealing the wonders of the outer planets and the mysteries beyond. It became the first human-made object to leave the solar system, sending back unique data from the space between stars. The Voyager mission is a story of human curiosity and ambition. NASA hopes to keep it communicating until at least 2030, squeezing every last bit of data from its fading power. Its most profound legacy may be the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, images, and greetings. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean, saying we existed and reached out. Its true audience is us, a symbol of hope and humanity. Voyager shows what we can achieve when we dream and work together. Its journey is the journey of the human spirit, forever reaching into the unknown.